Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other. All right, so before we start with today's discussion, please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSE futures and the MCX futures. Okay, talking about the NSE futures, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc., with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital, that is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me right so that's the help i want to extend or offer and if you are interested then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward All right, so let's say you are trading a 300 rupees script and you are in a buy trade and the stock is really, really bullish and is spiking up like crazy. Okay, now from 300, it went up to 305 and then to 311 and then to 322 and then it even went up till 330. Okay, but suddenly when the price hits the 330 price point, the stock freezes to move. There is no absolute movement in the stock price and it is sitting just at the 330 rupees price point. So what just happened? Maybe your desktop or laptop or your mobile just got hung. Well, you restart them and you still see that the price is still stuck at 330. So the thing that has happened here is that the stock has hit its upper circuit. And that's the reason why the trading has been stopped in that particular stock. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, even before we start with the topic, let me quickly go ahead and show you where exactly we find the upper circuit and the lower circuit information. Okay. It'll just take two minutes. All right, so this is the Zerodha Kite platform. And whenever you add an indice or any stock, okay, and click on this market depth button, on the lower side of this panel, you will see the lower circuit and you will see the upper circuit. That's it. Okay, this is the information which we are talking about and this is the place where you get it. As simple as that. Okay, now let's get back to the topic. Okay, so Going ahead in this video, we will discuss about the various aspects of the upper circuit and the lower circuit. And most importantly, what I feel is, as a trader, we should know these stuffs because they play a very crucial role in our decision making when we trade live. Okay, so first thing first, what is an upper circuit and what is a lower circuit? Okay, so upper circuit is the maximum price level till which a stock can move in a particular day. Okay, so the upper circuit and the lower circuit, the value of them keeps changing every day. 
okay and the same holds true for the low circuit as well okay and this is decided by the regulatory authority of india known as sebi okay now the main intent to define the upper circuit and the lower circuit is to control the extreme movements okay the extreme volatility and even the extreme one sided moves okay now coming to the point why is this really required do we really need the upper circuit and the lower circuit to be defined well the first thing is it doesn't matter whether do we have an upper circuit or a lower circuit because it's anyways there sebi has defined them and it has it is mandatory for everyone to follow it so there is no point in discussing or asking anyone whether should we have it or not right but the point that i'm trying to make here is we should always carry a positive vibe towards everything especially in trading okay so if we have the upper circuit and the lower circuit defined then there has to be a very solid reason behind it right because the guys who have defined them they are much more superior to us in terms of knowledge in terms of information and in terms of experience and in terms of everything so our job is to follow it without arguing on the same okay there are a few things to which we have to surrender whether we like it or not okay like the market we have to surrender to the market if it is giving us a loss we cannot argue with the market asking why i got the loss why me why always me we cannot ask that right why didn't you give me a profit so the same holds true for the upper circuit and the lower circuit okay now getting on to the practical uh, practical perspectives as a trader we should know why a particular stock actually hits the upper circuit or the lower circuit okay well it can happen because of some sudden good or bad news in regards to the stock like for example some major changes in the company's management board or maybe if there is some product that has been invented by the company that can bring in a revolution kind of a thing in that product zone okay so like this there can be many reasons like for example if there is a good news about the company and it gets published in the public domain then obviously the people will flock to buy the stock and the volatility will increase and it might hit the upper circuit but the problem is these movements happen for a very brief period okay what if the news was wrong what if it was a rumor in that case both the buyers and sellers would face the losses right the most and most importantly the retail traders are the ones who will get stuck really bad because we the retail traders are always the last ones to receive any kind of a news we are always standing at the last of the queue okay so that's why defining the upper circuit and the lower circuit is important okay another perspective to it is you would have seen that whenever an ipo is launched in the first day of opening that particular stock will not have an upper circuit or a lower circuit defined so what happens on that day on that day most of the time you will see the stock prices hitting unbelievable highs like the stock go up to like 30% or even 40% now is this something that is normal i mean the moment we talk about trading and uh, we always emphasize on following the rules and being disciplined and all those stuffs but if we allow a stock to move for free to any extent in any direction then it will not be possible for anyone in this world to be profitable rather it will not be called as trading it will be called as gambling okay so yet again having the upper circuit and the lower circuit is very important okay and now coming on to the category of traders who call themselves a circuit call themselves as circuit breakers no offense to those guys but again it is my duty to let the public know whether it is a good practice to be a circuit breaker or not okay and listen to this very carefully guys if you want to be a successful trader especially in day trading then please don't get into this style of trading okay the simple reason is if a stock is hitting the upper circuit that doesn't mean that it will go up further it can come down within no time post the upper circuit is revised okay so basically these kind of stocks do not follow any support resistance fundamentals because the movement itself 
is completely dependent on news okay and if you are someone who has been trading for a while you must be knowing it really well what happens if you trade a news based stock so please be wise and get a sense of what exactly is happening around you and that will surely help you in taking the right decisions okay so this is what i wanted to share with you guys and everyone knows what an upper circuit or a lower circuit is but it's always better to know a bit more about the topic okay especially the sensitive points that has to be left untouched all right so that's it from mine guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video i have put in the video card on the top right corner of this video the i symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get some more information about hyat that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them and also please do not forget to like this video if you liked it okay so that's all from my end and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye bye